Okay, so I promised you some uh, tutorials on that tool. So the first one we're going to do is password reset. And uh, as you can see here, we don't know what the password is for this uh, machine. What we're going to do is uh, boot up to our rescue toolkit and uh, reset this password. So let's go ahead and boot up to that. Now you will need to obviously create your USB flash drive with that on there. And I've already showed you how to do that in a previous video. And then you can boot up and then you'll be able to follow exactly what I'm going to show you next. So let's reboot the system and boot up to our toolkit. So I'm going to quickly restart the system. So what we're going to do here is boot into our BIOS and change the boot order. So I'm going to go across by using the cursor keys to hit boot. And of course what we need to do here is change our menu system here to either CD-ROM drive or removable devices which will be your USB uh, device. Now obviously if you are uh, using a more modern BIOS you will see that displayed here saying USB device. You need to point to that uh, as your first boot option. So I'm just going to navigate this up. Now you can either use your shift key and your plus key and it will then move it up and you can see I'm going to select CD-ROM drive here push F10 and save this. Okay, so we've booted up our all-in-one system rescue toolkit uh, by booting up to our flash drive that we created in our previous video. And uh, if you want to reset the password, it's pretty straightforward. So first off, uh, what you want to do here is go into your disks, click on this, and you'll see the disks that are in this computer. Now, because we're in a live environment, you can see I'm working on a VMware here but yours will be a computer and you need to look at your hard disk so this is our hard disk and we can see the file system that's the one we need to click on and then we need to click this little play button and now you can see it's been mounted so we can click on this and this will open up our directory with all our windows in their users and stuff like that so what we want to do from here is we want to navigate to Windows System32, so look for System32, then you want to look for config, and this is the area where we can uh, change our password. Now what you want to do here is copy this big path up the top, just drop that down and drop this down, then what you're going to do is open up your terminal. From your terminal window what you want to do is type in here CD and in space and then paste that long path in and push enter and it will now give you this path so what we can do is type ls and then push enter and you should now see all of those files sam security software system and so on so what we want to do next if you look on just drop this down for a second if you look on here there's a little nt password reset and it gives you some information which you can do don't worry about this part, we've skipped all that and gone straight to this location here. And you're going to need to type this out. Now you can copy and paste it if you want to. If you're really lazy, you can just copy this if you want to be real quick about it. Or you can type it out. It depends on what you want to do. Okay. So go back to your terminal window. And what you want to do here is paste this location in here. Okay. And push enter. What that's going to do is open up the uh, CHNTPW uh, program, which was going to allow us to reset our password. So you can see here, number one is what you want to do. So just push number one because we want to edit users' data and passwords. Push enter, and up will come all the user accounts on there. Now, automatically by default, it's automatically determined that it wants to go 3E9, which is the Brightech account. And that's fine. So what we're going to do is type 03E9, like so. And then you just push Enter. And now you can see it's given us a couple of other options. So we want to clear the blank uh, user password. So we're going to clear this. Okay, so it's just going to put a blank there and clear the password. So we're going to push 1 here and then push Enter. Now, because we're on that account, what that's going to do is uh, clear that for us, okay? Now, you can see here the unlock 
uh, method here now if you do need to unlock it it will tell you but you can see here it's already telling us it seems to be unlocked already so what you want to do at this stage is push quit and we want to quit out by pushing Q and push quit and uh, now we can see here uh, we've pretty much completed this so we're going to push Q again push enter and it will say do you want uh, do you want to write the hive files I'm going to say yes and it's going to say OK and from there we're just going to come out of here now so we can now close this uh, terminal window down and we can now reboot our system so let's go ahead and reboot our system I'm going to log off so just let Windows boot back up now and it should go straight past the uh, password part you shouldn't have to install the password because obviously we've removed it and we've made it blank now you can add a new password if you wish but there you go straight into Windows 10 this is the Windows 10 creators update and that's how basically you can remove the password with that uh, system rescue uh, toolkit now if you want to see more on this let me know in the comment section below and I'll be happy to make more videos thanks again for watching have a great day bye for now Thank you.